We're going to look at palpation for taut bands within the pectoralis major muscle, and we'll look at a way of needling this muscle safely. First, let's identify the fiber direction for the various portions of this muscle. The clavicular head runs from the medial half of the clavicle to the humerus, specifically the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. The sternal head runs from the sternum to the humerus. And the costal and abdominal heads run from the costal cartilage and the abdominal fascia, and then travel up to the humerus. With the arm down, the clavicular fibers run superficial to the sternal fibers, which run superficial to the costal and abdominal fibers. The layered arrangement changes when the arm is overhead. The different layers unwrap and then wrap again as the arm is brought down. Palpating for taut bands in the muscle can be helpful to gauge tension. Here I am palpating the clavicular head and assessing for tension. I can also push from inferior to superior or superior to inferior to feel which offers the most resistance. and I can advance the needle across the fibers in that direction. I have to take care that I place the needle in the same angle as the palpation and not change the angle deeper towards the rib cage. Now I am palpating the sternal head starting from the sternum and noting a local twitch with palpation. This layer has a notable palpable band. An easy way to needle the pectoralis major is to grasp and lift the tissue away from the underlying rib cage. While grasping, you should feel the plane the rib cage makes. You then find the taut band and place your two fingers around it. Place the guide tube at an angle that allows the needle to penetrate the band, and then advance the needle into the pec major, directed towards your thumb and with the needle parallel to the rib cage. You can redirect the needle, but keep the needle parallel to the rib cage until you get the needle response. The needle is always directed parallel to the rib cage, and you should never aim the needle towards the rib cage. The needle is parallel to the rib cage, directed slowly towards the thumb, and not downward towards the pleural cavity. You should not perform this technique if you do not have an adequate sense of where the rib cage is, the plane it makes, or where the needle tip is in relationship to your thumb. The advancing needle can be felt by the thumb, but you need to be sensitive to this. You should not perform this technique on women with breast implants. Otherwise, working with women is essentially the same. Palpation will be the same, but you will not be palpating through breast tissue. You still have access to the muscle around the breast tissue. Let's go over this technique again on a female model. So when I'm palpating, I want to feel for the clavicular fibers. I can press into the fibers going up from an inferior to superior direction, or I can palpate into them going from a superior to inferior direction, feeling for resistance. Doesn't feel particularly taut, uh, so I'm not going to needle those fibers. I can palpate close to the sternum, looking for taut bands. There's a bit of one right there through that sternal fiber. Sometimes you'll even see a local twitch response as you palpate through that. Interestingly, I can see a little bit of that local twitch response respond up through the um, SCM muscle, which those pec fibers do link with the SCM. But I just feel a taut band there. If I were to follow that, that's going to take me into that sternal portion of the muscle, and that'll help me find and differentiate where there's tautness in the muscle.
for men, you have a little bit more territory you can palpate. For women, this um, sternal edge is a really useful area because you can palpate and feel without having to go through breast tissue. The other area where you can palpate and where it's probably easiest to needle is at the axilla. So I have access to the bulk of the muscle through here. This is where knowing those fiber orientations can be very helpful. So I can come and feel for tautness within the muscle. It feels like a pretty noticeable band in these costal fibers. And this is the easiest way to needle it. You want to be very cautious. I wouldn't do this needle technique with women with breast implants because you could puncture the breast implant. But barring that, it's not a problem. So I can grasp the muscle this way. Feel the tension within the muscle. Hold. Put the guide tube between my fingers. I'm going to angle towards my thumb. I can feel the edge of the taut band. And maybe even looking for trigger points. You might even get a local twitch response with the palpation. But I can hold and then advance the needle towards my thumb. I need to be really comfortable with the idea of needling towards my thumb, feeling that needle advance towards my thumb. I can bring it out, but it's very safe. There was a little bit of a fasciculation there. And I can do some general lifting and thrusting, different needle angles to elicit a response in the pec major.